A Grignard reaction is a reaction between a carbonyl compound, that's usually an aldehyde or a ketone, and an alkyl magnesium halide. This RMGX refers to having a carbon attached to the magnesium halide. And that carbon could be one of many things. It may be an aryl group, alkyl group, even a vinyl group. It may be primary, secondary, tertiary alkyl. All of these things are called Grignard reagents. And the reaction of these two components, followed by treatment with water, makes an alcohol that has a new alkyl group attached to it. So you accomplish two things simultaneously. You make an alcohol, and alcohols are very useful. They occur widely, and they're very useful in organic synthesis to make other things. And you make a carbon-carbon bond. And that's important because we can buy small molecules, but usually the molecules we need are much bigger. So making a carbon-carbon bond in organic synthesis is a really big deal. There are many options that may be attached to this carbonyl group, and the halogen may be chloride, bromide, or iodide. And because it's obvious that it's important to be able to make Grignard reagents for this reaction, let me show you it's really easy. You take the compound that has the halide where you want the magnesium, Treat it with magnesium metal, and you've got your Grignard reagent. A practical detail that's important if you're actually doing these is to know that the Grignard reagents are very sensitive to water. So it's important that this be done under really dry conditions. We can understand this reaction as a 1-2 nucleophilic addition to carbonyl. You picture the carbonyl group as a polarized double bond, partial negative charge on oxygen, and importantly, partial positive charge on carbon. This attracts a nucleophile which leads to addition of the nucleophile to the carbon while the pi bond is being broken. This is very close to the description of a Grignard reaction with the carbonyl. On the left is a picture we just talked about. And with the Grignard addition to carbonyl, we picture this pair of electrons associated with the alkyl bond, forming a new bond with carbon as the pi electrons move up. Essentially, we can think about this alkyl group as being a carbanion with a negative charge and a magnesium halide ion associated with it. So the Grignard reagent is like our nucleophile over here with this pair of electrons adding to the carbonyl. The initial product is an alkoxide that has the carbon-carbon bond formed and treatment with water makes the alcohol itself. The pair of electrons and oxygen forms a bond with the proton, while this pair of electrons stays with oxygen to make hydroxide. So mechanistically, it's easy to rationalize this reaction. We think of it as a carbanion, R minus, having a pair of electrons to add as a nucleophile to carbonyl and the intermediate magnesium alkoxide being protonated by water. Let's take a look at what we can accomplish with the reaction synthetically. When the carbonyl reactant is formaldehyde, treatment with the Grignard reagent transfers the alkyl group to the carbonyl carbon, making a primary alcohol. When other halides are used as the carbonyl partner, the Grignard reagent adds to make a secondary alcohol. And when the carbonyl partner is a ketone, the Grignard reagent adds to form a tertiary alcohol. Organize this clearly in your mind because you'll want to keep it in mind when we're talking about organic synthesis. Formaldehyde makes primary alcohols. All other aldehydes make secondary alcohols. And ketones make tertiary alcohols. Okay, we've got that. So let's apply this knowledge to the synthesis of alcohols. How do we use this Grignard reagent to make alcohols we want? If we want to make a primary alcohol, we'll need to make this carbon-carbon bond. We'll need to start with formaldehyde. I'll write the alkyl group and the bond in exactly the same position we have, plus the magnesium halide, such as, let's say, magnesium bromide. And the carbonyl partner is CH2O, formaldehyde. It might help if I write it this way to see the carbonyl group. I've written it like this, so the CH2 with the O is in exactly the same position we want for the alcohol. So when we need a primary alcohol, that dictates that we use formaldehyde 
plus the Grignard reagent. There's only one alkyl group to add. To make a secondary alcohol using the Grignard reaction, there are two possible pairs of reactants. We could think of the blue group as coming from the Grignard reagent, reacting with this aldehyde, or we could think of the tan alkyl group as coming from the Grignard reagent. When we want to make a tertiary alcohol, there are three possibilities. We can write the possible combination systematically. This guy from the Grignard partner, plus this ketone, or we could use this ketone, plus this Grignard reagent, and finally there's a third ketone we could use, plus this magnesium halide. Now notice that to minimize the possibility for error in writing the structures of the reacting components, I keep the positions of the atoms as much as possible in exactly where they are in the product I want. So I look at that target, then I put the al alkyl groups from the ketone partner exactly where they're supposed to be, and I put the magnesium halide exactly where it needs to be in relation to the carbonyl compound. Working through the three possibilities systematically, you'll get them all. Which one should you really do? You might ask, well, it often depends on which structure is most available. Occasionally it depends on which Grignard reagent is easier to make. But in many cases, all three possibilities could be used. And there you have it, the synthetic application of the Grignard reagent. It's easy for us to understand it as a nucleophilic 1-2 addition to carbonyl. And it's easy to plan the synthesis of a target, remembering that for primary alcohols, there's only one combination of Grignard reagent and carbonyl compound that uses formaldehyde. For secondary alcohols, there's two combinations of Grignard reagent plus an aldehyde. And for tertiary alcohols, there are three combinations of Grignard reagent plus a ketone.